This next story left you outraged on Facebook. A student scrubbing the floor with a toothbrush. A Polk County family claims her daughter's teacher forced that punishment. Now the district is investigating. Nightside's Grady Trimble talked to the little girl's dad who wants the teacher to get sent packing. She had a bucket of water and a toothbrush. Kenneth Gamble could barely believe the story his seven-year-old daughter told after school last Thursday. It was because she was being disruptive in class. He says instead of sending her to the principal's office for talking out of turn, the teacher sent her one classroom over. That's where he claims teacher Helena Mays decided on the unusual punishment scrubbing the floor with a toothbrush on her hands and knees. She told the teacher she couldn't get the spot out and she said Miss Mays then began yelling at me and told me that I needed to get the spot out. Miss Schindlieber? The girl's homeroom teacher didn't answer her door and Mays didn't answer my phone call. Helena Mays has taught in Polk County for more than a decade and she's gotten in trouble before. This letter of reprimand from the principal at her old school calls whatever happened a name calling incident, but the district didn't give us any more details. Both teachers are now the subject of an internal investigation, a DCF investigation, and a law enforcement investigation. In a statement, the school district says, if true, the allegations described at Lake Alfred Elementary are completely unacceptable. I have an issue with both of them because the other teacher seen it happening and said nothing. For now, they're on administrative leave and Gamble says they should be fired. In Lake Alfred, Grady Trimble, 10 News. So Alex, we talked about this on Facebook Live not too long ago, a little over an hour ago, and we got some really mixed reviews on this yep. one. So many of you said this was unacceptable. Right, so what is that punishment? Opinions definitely vary, so I dug into what's acceptable under state law. In Florida, teachers and other instructional personnel do have the authority to do everything from press charges if they believe a crime has taken place on school property to, yes, use corporal punishment. Got it. Yeah, the 2017 Florida statutes read, the principal has to first identify the types of punishable offenses, the conditions under which they shall be administered, and the specific personnel authorized to carry them out. Now, a couple of other things, whoever administers that punishment must be in the presence of another adult, and they have to provide the parent with a written explanation of why it happened, along with the name of that other adult who was present, if they ask for one. But parents, of course, have their own ideas about what they think is appropriate. Oh yeah, we got a lot of different views during our Facebook Live tonight. Most parents sided with the teachers, saying that they need to have control over their classroom. And so here's what you had to say tonight. Patty, you wrote, perhaps we should go back to this type of discipline. If he or she deserved it, it's not going to humiliate them forever. If anything, they will not want to be humiliated again. Now, will they? Roberta said, communication is the key. They need to talk to the parent first. And Kelly says she knows a thing or two really about all of this. As a teacher, there are policies set in place for discipline, which is given out by administrators. As a teacher, I follow that plan as best I can. Administrators then should deal out the consequences. Look, it's not too late for you to sound off on this one. Tell us what you think on our 10 News WTSP Facebook page.